hello wordpress people so in this video i'm gonna talk about how do we protect our custom api with jwt authentication meaning how you can make your api compatible with jwt authentication so in this video i'm not gonna talk about how to configure jwt authentication uh, that I already explained in this video. So I will provide this link into the description section So that you know how to configure the JWT token plugin on the WordPress site Before jumping into the code if you are new to Gutenberg development then I would suggest to watch or review this website called wpvoyage.com this has very good tips and tricks regarding Gutenberg development and Gutenberg editor so please go and check out this site thank you so this is my local WordPress site and I have already configured this plugin so once you configure this plugin you will have a couple of APIs which will generate the authentication token uh, based on your username password so this is the api so in this um, postman i already added this api which is your site urls um, wpjson endpoint then this jwt auth v1 token v1 token and post method and we have to pass username password so if we do this we will get this token and this token is used to authenticate your api but by default uh, get method so get method doesn't uh, secured with authentication because yeah that's the obvious one we are getting some data but uh, post method is by default protected via any authentication so this is my custom api which is a get method and it is fetching data without any authorization so if you can see there is no authentication or authorization added for this api but let's assume that this API fetch some sensitive data and you don't want any user to see this data. So in this case, you want to protect your API um, using any authentication or authorization. So in our case, I am going to protect this API to login user only. So when we protect this API for logged in user only, in that case, this JWT token uh, will tell the API that this user is running this API and allow this user to access the data but for that let's protect this api first so this is my custom api code so i'm gonna so this is my custom rest api my plugin v1 acf books my plugin v1 acf books so in this i'm gonna add one more parameter which is permission callback and i'm gonna simply add function which will return is user logged in so if so this api is only available if user is logged in now if i go here and I will run this API so 
and that now this API is saying that sorry you are not allowed to do that now our API is protected now we can use this token to unlock this API meaning we can authenticate this API with this token so in order to use this token go to authorization use the bearer token over here I will remove the existing one put it the current one and let's send the request and as you can see now we are able to see our data only after adding authorization so let me switch back to not auth and let's confirm if it's still protected or not so as you can see it is protected so um so this is the only thing we need to add in our rest api if you want to make your api protected and by default any post method api is protected via jwt authentication if you have this plugin enabled on your site so this is how you can add or protect your rest api or make your api compatible with jwt token so this is the video guys if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video